I could just start this video by saying this is a $299 phone, the OnePlus N30 5G. It has a 50 watt charging brick. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a 108 megapixel camera lens inside uh, that's made by Samsung. So I assume it's the Samsung 108 megapixel lens that you get in the Ultra. I, I can't be sure, but you know, Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 chipset, eight gigabytes of RAM with eight virtual gigabytes. I guess that's from a swap from the hard drive. 6.7 two inch, 120 Hertz display, 1080p, but still 120 Hertz LCD. Comes with the latest Oxygen OS 13.3. Not only does it come with these things, but it comes with an SD card slot. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Did I mention that it's $299? Uh, <laughs> the model that I've got here is this is this sort of greenish bluish color that kind of matches the OnePlus pad that I looked at not too long ago. Two big old camera lenses with two, one big old lens here and two lenses here. And the SD card slot, it holds up to one terabyte of storage. This has a 128 gigabyte hard drive, which most people think is small for 2023, but with the SD card slot, you get an extra potential terabyte of storage. When was the last time you could say that? The 108 megapixel camera is from Samsung, as I said, pictures look really pretty good. It has a 3x lossless zoom, which I assume means like an optical zoom as opposed to a digital zoom. So there's not a telephoto lens here, but it does have that optical zoom option, which is better than any kind of digital thing that you can get. So with all that out of the way, how is this phone? What is it like to use this phone? I've had it for a couple of weeks now. I've been using it. It is a very good phone. Like I didn't know how much it was until I started taking notes to do this video this morning. Two hundred and ninety nine dollars for one hundred twenty eight gigabytes and all the other stuff that I listed. It has a very solid build quality. It's got some aluminum around the sides here. It's thin. It's light. I think this is plastic, but it feels good. It feels good in the hand, as it were. And I'm really surprised the screen to my eyes is okay. When I first fired it up, it had a little bit of a blue tint to it. It looked a little bit washed out. After using it for a while, my eyes kind of adjusted. It has 680 nits of brightness, which I have to keep it down below 50%. It's very, it's a very, very bright screen. If you're used to higher end screens, Samsung, Apple, whatever, you'll probably notice that this screen looks different when you first grab it. But if you grab this phone and you start using it, you won't notice anything at all. Fast charging with this guy, 50 watt charging brick, super VOOC. I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce the VOOC. From zero to 80% in 30 minutes. And then uh, it also has some technology built in to sort of save your battery health over time so that it doesn't just burn the battery out and you'll get longer battery life. Speaking of longer life, 5,000 milliamp hour battery I have not yet been able to kill this thing. Battery life is is really pretty impressive. In fact, I haven't charged it in several days. Uh, and I, you know, I'm I'm using my iPhone. I'm using this phone, so I'm not using this 100% of the time. However, I can say that it's 60%. It's at 60%. I haven't charged it. I don't think since the weekend, and today is Thursday. So battery life on this, very very solid. I was kind of confused when OnePlus came out with the Nord line because it seemed like they had the OnePlus phones that were also somewhat lower priced and that was their their that was part of their attraction, I guess. But then as they started to come out with OnePlus phones that were a little bit more expensive, they came out with the OnePlus Nord and the name aside, which I still don't really understand, the Nord has been around now for a few years. This N35 G has impressed the heck out of me. I still can't get over the fact that it's only $299. You get one Android update. So one major update of Android. So I believe this is on Android 13 and then you will update to whatever Android, whatever's next. Three years of security updates and one major Android upgrade for 300 bucks is 
a very, very good deal. And as with so many budget, uh, budgety phones, I don't feel like this one is going to fall on the ground and break at any time. It's not, it just sounds, feels very solid. Sounds very solid. If you're in the market for, or you know anybody else who's in the market for a budget Android phone who, that's running the latest stuff that has all the specs that we've been wanting, including SD card reader and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, point yourself toward the OnePlus Nord. They sent it to me. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about it, but after using it for a little bit, I've been very, very impressed. It is a really solid phone, especially for that price. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.